football. Packers and Saints. Both Aaron Rodgers, Jameis Winston out of this game. Jordan Love ready to three. Packers after the extra point. A little Lambo leap. Rookie Crystal down 13-10. They were going to lose the Packers 20 to 10. Now, this happened during the game. Aaron Rodgers not playing on the game broadcast, talking up third string QB Danny Etling in his new haircut. And Etling being ready to play. Listen, he was ready with that new haircut. The fresh cut, celebrating with him on the bench, rubbing the new dude. Then he's like, don't mess up my hair, man. Packers get the win 20-10. All right, so last night, Mac Jones made his preseason debut for the Patriots. He went 4 of 8 for 61 yards over the course of three drives. Uh, Matt Patricia was sending in the calls, and Jones had some high praise for the Patriots assistant. Here's Pat's reporter, Mike Reese. Mac Jones is adjusting to a new voice in his helmet. Matt Patricia called the plays on Friday night, and after a rocky start, the two experienced the type of success they hope becomes the norm, an 81-yard touchdown drive against Panthers backups. I think Matty's done a great job. Um, he's one of the most brilliant people I've ever been around in terms of football knowledge. He's really starting to get a feel for it. He's very easy to talk to on the sideline, very easy, laid-back kind of type coach, but demands a lot and I respect that about him and um, hopefully we can grow for for a long time. A smiling Bill Belichick stopped short of saying the team's offensive play caller is finalized even as all signs point to Patricia. In Foxborough, Mike Reese, ESPN. NFL analyst Ryan Clark is with us. So listen, in terms of drawing up the plays, that's, I mean, the Patriots script their plays right at the first part of every half. Um, that could be by committee, but Matt Patricia is actually sending in the plays with yes. his actual voice the that's sending in to Matt. Um, what did you think of their offense last night? I got to be, well, be, as, be brutally as, honest. As, as Bill Belichick done. said many times in the post-game press conference, it's a process. And the process <laughs> is processing as we are processing with the processors. Yeah, exactly. Right? When you think about this offense, you have three and out on your first two drives. And obviously, Mac Jones hits the big pass down the sideline to Nelson Aguilar. And that's what put him in position to score. They have to create some of those big plays, but you also need to see sustained offense, need to understand how they're going to run the football, how they're going to get into play action pass. And I don't think last night gave us any indication that that team is moving toward that. When you look at Mac Jones and you think about the second year progression of very good young quarterbacks, that's normally when they take the biggest jump. Has he been tutored the right way? Does he have the right people in his corner? And is the right coach on the headset? As brilliant as Matt Patricia is, we have to remember he was also the head coach that was over the Detroit Lions offense for the last two for the two years before they hired Dan Campbell. And, and that didn't go so and well. And he's a defensive specialist. Yes, and so right. and, and so to me, I understand Bill Belichick is thinking if mm -hmm. you're a great coach, you can coach good football. Mm -hmm. But I do believe that play calling is not only a science, but an art, and it's about feel. And I don't necessarily know if he'll have that feel. Right. Once those scripted plays yes. are done, uh, then we'll see what happens in those kind of game situations. All right. Let's talk about your Pittsburgh Steelers. All right. So <laughs> we have three choices to replace Ben Roethlisberger. We have okay. Mitch Trubisky. We have Mason Rudolph. We have the heralded rookie quarterback. Kenny Pickett. Yes, <laughs> Kenny Pickett. Um, who do you think gives them the best chance to win this season? You know what? I can be honest. It is still too early for me to tell. I, I went to practice and I was watching and I was like, well, that doesn't look very good. And then I saw another guy. I was like, well, that doesn't look very good. But I also knew when I spoke with Coach Tomlin that mm -hmm. what happens in the arena, right, in the stadiums in the preseason weighs so heavily for these quarterbacks. Mitchell Trubisky, a guy that can use his legs. You're going to have some athleticism. Coach Tomlin said he needed that after watching Ben Roethlisberger last year. But then you also have Kenny Pickett, although playing against the JV, did very well. 13 of 15, led two touchdown drives. Also the game-winning throw to win the game. And now Kenny Pickett gets varsity reps. I believe here's what happens, Hannah. I think they start Mitchell Trubisky because if you start Mitchell Trubisky and he plays well, it allows Kenny Pickett to sit it's and all then an play later. At that point, but right? if Mitchell Trubisky doesn't play well, mm -hmm. you can move on to Kenny Pickett and start your mm -hmm. future sooner than later. But ideally, don't you want to give Pickett some time to develop? I mean, you would love to give Pickett some time, but you know, and I always go back to Russell Wilson because it's one of those strange situations. The Seattle Seahawks went out and gave Matt Flynn money and drafted right. Russell Wilson in the third round. 
Yep. And very early on in the preseason, Pete Carroll noticed, you know what? This young kid from Wisconsin is a better option for us, and he made that decision. I believe that Mike Tomlin is also that type of coach that will understand if Kenny Pickett has shown us he's more prepared to he'll play and help us win, yeah. he'll make that yeah, choice. Yeah, yeah, Tomlin will know. Yep. Tomlin will know. And, of course, uh, Russell Wilson went on to lead them to a Super, Super Bowl, Bowl, their first ever Super Bowl win yes. very shortly thereafter. Absolutely. All right, so good luck to your Steelers against the Jaguars. <laughs> we'll see how Pickett does with those varsity reps <laughs> tonight. Thanks, Art. We get to the game last night. Here we go. Oh, look. There's Mac Jones. He's playing the Patriots, hosting the Panthers. First quarter, Jones, a bit of a shaky start, throwing the ball to Devontae Parker. Well, actually, a little behind Devontae Parker. And Jacoby Myers, I got you, man. Here, take us a little high. Just out of his reach. And Jones is, you know, I know I haven't been playing, but I got to be better than that. Uh, not on the same page with Ramondre Stevenson. And he starts the game. Jones does 0 for 3. Starting to settle down in the second quarter, 34. Looking for Ty Montgomery out of the backfield. First down. Next play. Nelson Aguilar down the sideline, just throwing it up and all oh, nice pitch and catch. 45 yard gain. Puts it where only Nelson can get it. Pats in the red zone. Jones, 4 of 8, 61 yards on three offensive drives later. Montgomery up the middle. Score. 7 3 Patriots. And their defense stepped up, Hannah. P.J. Hubbard in a quarterback for the Panthers to Chuba. P.J. Walker to Chuba Hubbard. He's tackled for a loss. And Walker, he's, he's, he's sacked. And, and then he's down again. No Baker Mayfield or Sam Donald in this one. So how are they supposed to make a decision on that without playing either of them? I'm just well, it just okay. depends on which report you believe. Maybe they already have. Okay. Uh, um, Matt Corral to Stephen Sullivan. Ball knocked out by Joshua Bledsoe. Miles Bryant recovers it. Incomplete, Bill Belichick challenges, and hey, play overturn. Patriots get the win. Here's Mac Jones after. As a rookie, you're out there just trying to um, do your job and play your role and, and kind of just do exactly what you're supposed to do. And now with a little bit of freedom and a little bit of more experience is obviously good, but um, at the end of the day, it's football, and it's the same game that we've all been playing since we were little, and um, it was just good to get back out there. and. I know it's a long season ahead, so it was good to get the feet wet again and continue to grow from that. Is the process still between you, Joe, and Matt when it comes to selecting the plays? Uh, no. So is it falling on anyone else or it's between you three? Yeah, it's process. <laughs> I love that. was classic. I love how he answered the yes or no questions with a yes or no answer. Still oh, to come. Good. At the